four teams, one month, who will come out on top. It's time for August, which means it's time for Battle-a-thon. So we're going to get into my August TBR, which is going to be very heavily inspired by all the things at Battle-a-thon. As always, my TBR is going to be broken up into sections based on the types of things that I need to be reading for the month. So we're going to start with the things I'm participating in, and then we're going to use those things to inspire the rest of my TBR. Starting off very simply with the Pyramid Book Club that I co-host with Lexi and Michelle. Our August pick is Bury Your Gaze by Chuck Tingle. I have read one book by Chuck Tingle so far and absolutely loved it and I'm very excited for this one. I have heard very very good things about it. It just came out I believe in July and I had the Neck Alley arc for it and I didn't have a chance to read it in July and so this one is the first one on my list. It needs to be a priority. I have the Kindle version so that's how I'm going to be reading this one. But the other thing I'm participating in August is Battleathon, which is the month-long readathon created by Mel from Melanor Reads and I am so very excited to be a co-host for this year. Myself along with Leanne from Literary Diversions will be co-hosting the House of Stars. Now this year's Battleathon theme is that each of the four houses, the House of Stars, House of Thorns, House of Snakes, and House of Wings are all houses of assassins who are competing to become the king or queen's chosen assassin. So what this means is it's going to be a bracket style competition in which at the beginning everybody is participating and it's a pretty even playing field and then teams will be matched up for each week of competition until there is one team that is chosen as the winner at the end. So obviously this is a very like high energy type of competition. You've got to keep up with the reading all month long which is kind of scary because I know a lot of times the end of the month is when things like a burnout really start to kick in and so I'm really hoping that by planning my TBR a certain way I can kind of keep the momentum going so that I don't fizzle out before the end of the month. If you have not joined Battleathon yet, you can find more information in the links that I have in the description. Make sure you join the Discord and make sure that you join the House of Stars because you want to join the winning team and we're obviously going to win. So the points you earn in Battleathon are based on the ratings that you give the books. So five stars gets a certain number of points, four stars gets a certain number of points. You want to be reading books that you think you're going to love. So a lot of the books that I have on my TBR are books that I genuinely think that I am going to really like and or love and could possibly give five stars that is the goal here is to find as many four and five star reads as possible. I mean technically that's always the goal because you never want to like read books that you don't like but it is especially important this month to be getting all of those five star reads in. So a lot of the books that I have are hopefully going to fit into that category but each team has bonus words that are going to get their team additional points and for the House of Stars we get bonus points for any book that has a star related word in the title. So as I go through some of these books are going to fit that. Some of them won't but the most important thing is picking books I think I'm gonna love. So I didn't go too heavily into the star themed words but let's jump into the rest of the TBR here and see where we end up. For the last few months I have been trying very hard to keep a segment of my TBR that is dedicated to my NetGalley arcs because they have really piled up and I am still working through the backlog a bit and I really really failed at July. I think I only read like one or two of my arcs. August I really need to like buckle down and get some of these books read but they are books that I am excited for. They are books that I have requested and received so that hopefully is gonna mean that I'm gonna end up liking them. Fingers crossed for that. The first one is a romance called Enemies to Lovers by Laura Jane Williams. This book comes out on August 13th and I requested this a very long time ago and I have had it staring at me for like months and haven't read it yet so I really need to do this one. It does look like it has kind of like a summer beachy type of theme. The next book up is Another Romance and this one is Morbidly Yours by Ivy Fairbanks. This book comes out on August 20th and honestly this one just looks really intriguing based on the cover. It is going to be I'm assuming a rom-com about somebody who works in a graveyard. I regret not remembering the actual description of this book. I don't know you know what's actually going to happen in the book but this one was truly a cover request. I saw it and immediately was like I don't know what this is but I need it. Thankfully I received it and now is the time that I finally get to read it this month. And the third book that is coming out this month month that I have is The Trials of Lila Dalton by LJ Shepard and this one comes out on August 27th. This one is from Poison Pen Press that I received from them so I'm really excited to be able to read this one and hopefully get it turned around before the publishing date. There was a fourth book that was listed as being published in August and it confused me a little bit because I have a physical copy of this book from January and I'm not quite sure exactly what the publishing date is looking like but I do have the ebook 
arc of Voyage of the Damned by Francis White. This was the Illumicrate book for January and honestly I'm obsessed with the color of this cover, the like decoration of the special edition. I absolutely love it, okay? But when I saw that this was available on NetGalley, I was a little bit confused but I also knew that I already planned on reading it because I had the physical so I requested it and now is the time that I need to actually get this one read. So I think I'm gonna add this one onto my TBR. It has nothing to do with stars. It's not really gonna help me with bonus points or anything, but with how pretty it is, and I feel like I've heard some pretty good things about this book, and I'm just really excited to try it out, especially because of how pretty this copy is that I have. So this one's going on the list, and by being able to review it on NetGalley, it's going to help my rating on there as well. As a bonus, if I'm able to get through all of those books, plus some of the other ones that I have planned for this month, I am going to try to work on my July backlist because I failed at July and I have some of those books that I really want to get to like The Sky on Fire. That was one that I was really really highly anticipating and I just didn't get a chance to read it so I do want to try doing that and I also have the physical copy and the arc of Not Another Love Song from Julie Soto and I was really anticipating reading that one in July and it just didn't happen. I did take a much slower approach to July so that's why I didn't quite make it through as many books as I was hoping. So the July backlist is kind of a backup for other books that I want to consider but the priority is going to be the August ones for now. Another final portion of my TBR is based on my family's vacation. So for the first week of August I will be on a camping vacation with my family and quite literally the purpose of this camping trip is to do absolutely nothing but sit in a hammock and read for like seven days straight and that is exactly what I intend on doing. So I have a few books picked out that I want to take along. I always end up taking more books than I need but this year I'm hoping to get through all of the ones that I have prepared and I still have a couple days to figure out exactly which other ones I want to pick up but for now let's go over the four that I have here as well as my Kindles going along with me so like I'll have all the NetGalley arcs but I have audiobooks and physical for these four that I've selected in advance. The first one is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I am going to be meeting this author at the end of August at the National Book Festival in DC so I am very excited to be doing that and I figured I might as well read another book from her. So I've already read Red, White, and Royal Blue and I really really loved it so I I am excited to try this one because I've heard good things about it. Plus I know she has a new book coming out that I believe I am getting from a book box and I am very excited to try this. So I have the audio for this one from Libby I believe and then I will take my physical copy that I got off Pango. The next one up is Fly With Me by Andy Burke. This one I picked up because I went to a book festival already this year where this author was going to be there and I wanted to be able to get it signed. So I picked up a copy, met the author, and now it's my turn to actually read this book. Now this book is one that my sister gave five stars so I know that even if I don't end up liking it I know that she will appreciate having the signed copy so that's kind of my backup plan if I don't end up liking this physical one I know I can give it to her. Next up is Foul Days by Genevieve Demore. Now this one was the Owl Crate special edition for June I believe and this was the first Owl Crate book I received because I had just started my subscription and I have the audiobook from Libby so I'm going to be trying this one out. My other sister has this book as well and she just finished reading it and liked it so that has me eager to be trying it as well. And the final book that I'm planning for now is Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll. This one I have heard raving reviews for. I know a lot of people who absolutely loved this and I finally got the audio. It was on hold for a long time but I finally got it and I've had this physical copy so I'm going to be taking this one along and I feel like this is kind of one that if I do like it I can recommend it to other people in my family to read it and so that's kind of the hope here but this one is definitely a promising one because of how much I know a lot of people have really liked it. And now that I'm thinking about it none of those books actually had anything to do with stars so I do need to mention a book that I do plan to read that has star in the title and this is something that I have been kind of working up to over the last couple of weeks. I am going to be continuing a series that I started last fall and I'm going to be reading the Carissa Broadbent books. So I read Serpent in the Wings of Night last like November I think and I really loved it and I told myself I was gonna read the like ebook for the second one like right afterwards and I never did it but since then there has been a novella and then book two I have physically as well so I'm gonna read both of these so the first one is Six Scorched Roses which is a novella that follows a couple of characters that you meet in book one and that one doesn't count for the like star related words but this one is Ashes and the Star Cursed King which means it fits perfectly for the theme and I'm pretty sure I gave Serpent five stars which means I am on a trajectory to be able to give this one a pretty high rating as well. So this one's definitely going onto the list so I can get through this. And because I've been working on 
a vlog of reading continuations of series that I started previously. So this one's going to fit in very, very well. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them camping or not, but they are definitely going to fit into my August reading at some point. And then because I'm completely chaotic, this last book also does not have any star words, but there is something that I want to try to do because I've been getting really behind on another element of my book collecting. And I have been getting more and more book subscription boxes lately. And that means that I need to be reading those books more frequently. I really don't want to be the person that keeps like getting books and then just letting them sit, especially when they're special editions. If I read it right away and I don't end up liking it, there's a better chance that I can rehome it to someone who would really enjoy it. And I really want to be able to do that. So I'm trying to make a goal where I pick one or two of my special editions every month and like make a point to add them to my TBR and read them. And sometimes this means that I might not be able to read the one that comes that month because I also do really like having an audiobook. So I already mentioned that I'm going to try to read Voyage of the Damned, which was my January Illumicree and I haven't read it yet. So the next one that I want to add on is To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods by Molly X. Chang. This one is another Illumicrate book. I want to say this was maybe like March or April's book and I ended up pre-ordering the like first edition of this book and then I also got this from Illumicrate. So I have two copies of this book. I definitely need to get rid of one of them unless this becomes one of my new favorite books in which case I'll keep them both but I'm going to add this one to the list. It has some really beautiful sprayed edges. I'm really excited about this one and because I have the audio from Libby that should be coming in any day now it means that I will be able to enjoy this from both formats which is definitely my preference when I'm reading. So that is my hope for this one, being able to finally turn around some of these special editions so that I'm not just hoarding them and like never finding out if I actually like them. But that brings me to the end of my TBR. I realize I didn't give very many star related words, but again, the like four and five star ratings, like the way you rate your book should be the highest priority of like things that you think you're going to love for this month. That's kind of what we're aiming for. And that's what I've done for my TBR. So I have quite a big list of things to work through. But again, for this camping trip, I tend to work at like at least a book a day, sometimes a little bit more. And I'm hoping to keep that kind of a rate up this year. That's what I've done in the past. So hoping that I can keep that up. And that's going to be really, really great for this first week. And then I need to be able to keep the momentum going throughout the rest of the month. So I have some really amazing five star quality types of books on deck to keep me going. If you have read any of these books and want to hype me up and help encourage me to get through them, please do so in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you also are excited to read them, I'd also love to hear that as well. If you are joining Battle of Fun, let me know what team you've joined. And if you chose House of Stars, you are correct. And also welcome to the team. I will see you in the discord. I can't wait for all the fun that we're going to have this month. Make sure you are subscribed to Mel who created Battle of Fun and to Leanne, my co-host for House of Stars. And if you like this video and you want to see more from me and especially to keep up with things that I will have coming throughout the month of August, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!